Hey everybody, you'll never believe it. It snowed in South Carolina. It's amazing. I know. I grew up in a state that had winters and where we got a lot of snow. And but I've lived here for five and a half years and it's just it's just awesome when we get some snow. So I, I was I, my neighbors probably think I'm nuts. I was out there with my camera trying to capture the snow as it was falling. It was a lot of fun. So that's super exciting. But today I want to talk about computer science education. This past week was CS Education Week. I don't know if any of you are aware of that. So that means there are a lot of kids and older people throughout the country this week that have been trying to experiment and get, whether it's through Hour of Code or some other activity, trying to get some experience with computer programming and this really exciting field that we just all know and love. And that got me thinking about one of the really common ways that students, maybe you, actually are sabotaging your education. So I started teaching at the college level about seven years ago at Dartmouth College. I taught my first class in computer architecture, and toward the end of the term, I had a student come into my office who was really troubled about something. There were some things that he was struggling with, and he was worried about his grade, and we got talking. And as we were talking, it became apparent that there were a few things that we had talked about way back at the beginning of the class that he really hadn't understood. And I asked him why he hadn't talked to me before. Why hadn't he raised his hand? Why hadn't he actually let me know that he was struggling? Because at the end of the term, there's really only so much that I could do. And his answer is one that I've heard and seen over and over again. His answer was, it was I just couldn't admit that I didn't understand it. I didn't want to be, I, I didn't want to feel stupid. Now, I've, I've seen and heard this answer so many times, and it's not just a computer science thing. This is something that shows up in classrooms all over. It's a very vulnerable feeling to raise your hand and express that you don't know something, or to ask a question where you're, you're thinking maybe everybody else already knows the answer to this. This shows up in all sorts of classes, but I think computer science and engineering, it's a little worse. And the reason for this is that Computer science isn't really taught very well yet in high schools and middle schools. And so when students come into college classes, you get students that have taught themselves and they have a lot of experience and a lot of confidence and they know eh, they know some words they can throw around. They know a lot compared to the other students that really are coming into this with no experience whatsoever. And so what you have is you have classrooms full of students, some of whom are feeling very uncomfortable, and they're hearing all of these really confident students raise their hand, and, and these students seem to know all sorts of things that sound like another language. They probably are another language. And that's really intimidating. That can be really, really hard for students to raise their hand. And sometimes students are like, yeah, I feel like I'm the dumb one that just doesn't understand what we're talking about here. And so they don't say anything. Maybe you have done this, maybe you felt this. I have definitely felt this way. And so I just want to address it and talk about why this is such a problem. The first thing I want to say about this is that the students that seem really confident, that seem like they know everything, they don't know as much as they let on. They may talk like they're on their way to the Computer Science Hall of Fame if we had one. They're just waiting to be inducted as soon as we build one. But the reality is they're here to learn too. And there's a lot they don't know and a lot of times they open their mouth and maybe they know a little bit, but there's a lot they don't know. So that's the first thing. The second thing though, and this is regardless of what they know, the most important thing is that you are going to learn more by asking questions than you will by staying silent. This is just a fact. Now I know how this feels. I know how it feels to feel like you're the only one in the room that doesn't understand this stuff, but you're not, okay? For every time I hear someone raise a question and they feel like they're the only one that doesn't understand this, the reality is there are at least 10, 20, 30 other students in that class who also had that question but didn't have the guts to raise their hand and ask. I guess the point I want to make today is that the reality of the classroom is that the classroom is actually a lot more like an AA meeting than we like to admit. The first step is admitting you have a problem. The first step, which seems weird because we're here to be educated, but the first step is admitting that there are things we don't know and becoming okay with that. Being okay with not knowing the answers to the things that you're being taught. And this is super critical, folks, because the fear of looking stupid is actually standing in your way of getting smarter. It's standing in the way of your education. You have to get over that fear if you actually want to excel in this field, if you want to learn. If you had all the answers, you wouldn't be here. If that super confident guy in the front row who always raises his hand and tries to answer every question like he memorized the book, if he had all the answers, he wouldn't be here either. So today my message to you is this. 
I know it's hard. I know you feel vulnerable. Raise your hand, be brave, ask the question, own your own lack of understanding, own your own ignorance and move on. The sooner you do, the sooner you will actually start doing something about what you don't know. On the other hand, if you're the kind of person who smirks every time somebody else asks a question that you know the answer to and gives that smug look on your face, well, wipe it off. Wipe that look off your face because you're not helping. Because we're all here to learn. We're all here because we have things that we don't know, including myself. When I stand up in front of a class, there are things that I don't know. But I will tell you, the person who is willing to ask the question, who's willing to raise their hand and publicly admit that they don't know something, that's the bravest person in the room. And that is the person who is going to be educated the fastest and is the person who I respect the most. So anyway, that's all for today. I hope you all had a great CS Education Week. I hope you tried some new things, uh, learned some new things. I hope you appreciated just what a great field this is and how much fun it is for us. And I hope this video helps you to find the courage to ask questions, to interact with your professors, to ask your friends, and just to admit when you don't know stuff. And so until my next video, I will see you later.